Welcome Capricorns. I'm back y'all with another video. So let's jump right into it. We'll see what message the spirit have for the Capricorn. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Let's go ahead and jump into it. It is a general read, so whatever pops out, pops out. We're going to discuss it. Okay. This is going to be for the month of January, so this could be occurring right now, or it could be what's coming ahead, or it could have already happened. All right, I'm going to stop right here. Now we got the Seven of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Oh, gosh. Okay, so I feel like you guys got to be honest with yourselves about a situation that maybe you feel like you should have waited or you should put on hold. I see somebody taking pictures. Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Temperance. That made me feel like somebody's taking pictures. Yeah, I keep seeing... It's something about waiting to make a decision, a final decision. So it looks like a final decision is made or was recently made. Possibly to end something, completely end something. We got the world here. Yeah, to end a relationship. I see you spying. I see you on the internet looking. Possibly at a fire sign. Or a Libra. Could be a Taurus. Okay, so whatever this is, this looks like it's going on over the internet for sure with the world and the page of swords. Definitely my spine on the internet energy. What is the Ten of Cups here? Okay, King of Cups. All right, so you're, it looks like a connection that you were in. It looks like it was a real loving connection. Could have been with a water sign with the King of Cups there. Could have been a Pisces or a Cancer. Somebody didn't accept the offer. I feel like that cycle closed because somebody did not accept the offer. You feel like, look, I don't feel like I should have to wait to make a final decision. Do you know who I am? I'm a star. I'm about to take action. I get what I want. Maybe. I feel like there's a loving connection that ended. The challenge was was that it was it, it had something to do with the matter of timing. Timing, because we got three of wands as a challenge. So it had something to do with timing. So something wasn't the right time. Okay, so it looks like this connection ended. Yeah, temperance. So you really you this was a connection that was really balanced. The it looks like you had the Ten of Cups energy there. So why did the chapter close? Yeah, somebody walked off. Somebody left. Eight of Cups and a Chariot. Y'all moved on from the situation. Y'all moved on. It was stressful. It was something hard to do because I see that the breakup occurred. And then we got the Nine of Swords. This was not easy for you to do. But you took a chance. You took a chance.
You took a chance on something. You took a chance. I feel like you ended one situation. You ended a situation. Why is the world here? The moon. Maybe there were secrets. Ooh, okay. Yes. It was some competition. Maybe you were trying to get get back on this person. Because I got the magician, the five of wands, and the five of swords. This is so much like <laughs> intentional energy. Okay. Maybe you wanted to get into it with this person to make this person leave. Um, you've been thinking about it, about how you want to move forward. And maybe you, you know, decided like, okay, well, I just pissed them off and made them leave, you know, so you really didn't have to face it. But the chapter did close and I feel like it's because there was some secrets. This situation, I feel like you're hiding how you really feel behind closed doors of how you really feel. I feel like you're really, you're not, you're hiding this. See, there's a new person in the picture that you could be, you know, trying to cover up how you really feel and the things that you're really thinking about. Let me pull from... Cause I, I just get a feeling yeah y'all something ended but it's not really what you wanted. Tell me why the nine of swords is here. This is somebody who you really were attracted to. There was a lot of physical attraction, but you wish you had treated this person better. So it looks like maybe you where, you know, you felt like you may have done, took something overboard or you took something too far. But I feel like you're grateful for the spiritual lesson. And see, that's why you're able to close this chapter because you feel like you've learned the lesson from, from this situation. And I feel like you're still attracted to this person. However, you just wish that the situation was a little different and you wish you had treated this person better. And I think this is something that's on your mind. Like you think about this. I feel like you think about this. Now, the thing about what timing is, is being a challenge here. It's something here about timing. Like, the timing wasn't right. Yeah, Seven of Swords. All right, so you may feel like the challenge was is too much time in between. Like, it's something about somebody feeling like they can take their time. Um, if they wanted this connection, then you feel like they should have put a little bit of pep in their step. They put should have put a little bit of pep in their step. I feel like you're saying, like, you know, oh, well. But I feel like you just feel like this person didn't put enough on thing. They didn't put enough on thing for you. So it had to end, even though this is somebody that you cared about, you love this person, you had a ten of cups with this person. But I feel like you could be spying on this person. Well, tell me why to pay the source here. Yeah. Six of Wands. This could have been put out all over the internet. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's talking about it. This could make you look like you're the bad person. Um, you didn't realize that when you when you spoke your truth about the situation. Some of y'all fell in love with someone else, and it just caused a shitstorm. The tower and the five of wands. It caused a tower. This person could be very generous. We got the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. This person could treat you like you're special. You feel special when you're with this person. Yeah, it's 
Like, you know all eyes are on you. You know all eyes are on you. There was something about a situation that ended. And it's like, all eyes are on you. It's like, yeah, I told you the first time. Me and such and such, we not together no more. We not together no more. Yeah, it's like, okay, the sex was good. It was fun while it lasted. But, yeah, you gone. Eight of Cups. Okay, this could be towards the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But you done fell in love. You done fell in love with somebody else. You done fell in love with somebody else. And it could have been during like a separation period where you were separated from another person. But this person has been giving you everything that your heart could desire. This person been giving you, someone else been giving you everything that you desire. You know everybody talking. You know there's some gossiping going on on the internet. Like, it's a lot of gossiping. It's a lot of he say, she say going on. Now, we got the strength card back here. This could be a Leo that you have fallen in love with. Yep, got definitely Leo's energy. The sun is here. You're um, having a lot of fun with this person. You're smiling more. This person is giving you great energy. Maybe you and this person don't argue all the time. You ain't got no problems with this person. You just feel like you just feel like this person deserves your attention. You regret how the situation panned out in your past. But you you want to grow from it. Like, you want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was a lesson learned and something that you'll grow from. But right now, I feel like your focus is on this. King of Pentacles and the Ten of, Pen Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Wands, you want to see your money grow. You want to see your money grow. Um, Maybe you're hoping, like, maybe this maybe this person will wait, wait for me. But you think the way that it happened, maybe not. Because I see somebody got ran ran away quick. Somebody got ghosts. After you gave this situation some thought, you feel like the best thing for you to do is to go towards this fire sign. This person could be, I'm getting like a bad chick, a bad dude. Like that, that bad type of energy. This person could have made you straighten up your ways. Made you be more honest. You didn't want you didn't want this person to be and you didn't want to really put this person in third party. Because you was really tired of going back and forth anyway. So you went ahead and made your final decision. Okay, you went ahead and made your final decision because you was tired of going back and forth. And this is a chance. This was your chance to prove to your past person, which I think possibly could have been the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, that they could have been the problem. Not you. Tell me more about this uh, Leo energy. The golden mirror. This is a love bombing. There's some love bombing going on. This person could be love bombing you. But keep in mind, this person is real self-absorbing. And they could be a narcissist. They like things to be one-sided. This person could come off as a soulmate. This person could come off as like they're your soulmate. There's a lot of spying going on. Like they watch you. They watch. They watch your every move. Tell me more about this, Leo. Paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So you and this person, y'all enjoy each other's company. They like you a lot. They're willing to chase you. They're willing to sabotage anybody who gets in the way, who's trying to seduce you. They are willing to, like, yeah, sabotage any of the, any of the competition.
I think it was time for the truth to come out. We got clock and the sword and rose. This is clarity, truth, revelation. So it was time. Maybe you felt like it was time or this Leo felt like it was time for the truth to come out because this person wants to get married. This person wants to get married. Like, they want the relationship to grow and go to the next level. So, they felt like it was time to go ahead and put the truth out. Person does got a lot of love for you. They never dated somebody like you. They talk to their friends about you all the time. How you the soulmate. I see this Ten of Wands energy in the future. Maybe you feel a little overwhelmed. Why is the Ten of Wands here? What I'm also getting to, like, you feel like the person that you truly was in love with it's like you ended things with the love of your life. I feel like that's something that you think about. Um, it's something I just keep getting it. Because I, I feel like love of my life. That's what I'm getting with the Ten of Cups, King of Cups, and the Temperance. And then with that World card being there, that's saying that chapter has closed. And I feel like this is something that you think about. You know everybody talking about it. One of the ten of wands here. Yeah, you let something go. You drop, you drop something, and you're moving forward. You're pressing forward. Tell me more about the chariot. You're letting go of all that baggage and moving forward. You got, you got, you got some hope. You got some faith. I feel like you ain't want to start nothing, so you decided to walk out. You left, you left a situation. You dropped the situation, and you're moving forward. You're moving on from it. Okay, I feel like. I'm going to say this. Somebody's trying to keep up an image. Four of Pentacles, Emperor, and a Ten of Pentacles. Somebody has, and, and see, we Capricorns, that's, that's y'all biggest theme of, like, your reputation and how people look at you and, you know, how you're being perceived. I feel like you're trying to keep up an image. You're forcing it. I'm just going to say that. Seven of Wands. You're forcing it. You feel like if you was to go back to a situation, you think that you're going to be stuck, okay? And you're not going to be able to to mingle. Um, and you want to have fun. So, you, you, you're you looking back at it with regrets because it's something that you want to move on from. You decided to walk away because someone could have asked you for, for money. Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles could have been the Queen of Cups. Um, but it made you realize when this person asked you for whatever they asked you for, or they came at you, however they came, you came to you, it made you realize that you didn't want to be there, that you didn't, this, this is not what you're looking for. This is not the ideal love that you're looking for. You don't want to be with somebody like that, that ask you for ask you for things all the time or it's just like you got a reputation to uphold and, you, and whatever you got to do to keep that reputation flowing it's like that's what you're doing but keep in mind too that you're trying to up maintain a reputation but at what cost though
person that you that you are currently dealing with or when you currently have your own they could be younger you got the queen of wands and the seven of swords so this is um they may put in put in the effort the effort looks like it's being put in they're younger they may allow you to go back and forth i see a lot of back and forth and indecision Somebody, somebody feels like something, you could be feeling like, I'm since I'm hearing, I'm hearing that there could be a marriage here, legally married, like somebody's legally married, the justice and the ten of pentacles, like somebody could be legally married, or like, common law i guess that's i think that's what they call it like when people have been living together uh for so long like it's basically like y'all married because i see the three of swords here so there could be talks about divorce and yeah I mean, the four of cups and the ten of swords maybe you don't want to go through with it i see you waiting Tell me more about this Ten of Pentacles and this Justice. You could also, for those who aren't married, you could be trying to find ways to balance out your money. I think that's the big focus. I just keep getting like you feel like you should have waited. You feel like you should have waited. Yeah, I feel like it's a third party involved. Somebody said that somebody is a married man. I keep getting that. That's a storyline for some. Somebody could be like a married man, has a wife, and the truth got out. Okay, I'm also getting that... Tell me more about this empress. Okay, so it looks like you were surprised that this person asked you for money. It's like, you go to work just like I do. What you think this is? Mm -hmm. I see you trying to work on your finances, but um, somebody would love to co op to uh, mesh mesh with you. Somebody here could have wanted to work on a living arrangement or a marriage. Um, they just felt like things were moving kind of slow. I don't think that they were, they would have regretted it. They were thinking that you, that there was a connection between you, you and them until you decided to move on and left them stuck like that. They feel like you gave them the run around. They feel like you gave them the run around. Um, I do feel like you took, you jumped out there and you took a risk with the full card here. Like you you woke up, maybe it was something that you contemplated on for a while, but one day you just woke up and you was like, I'm taking this risk today. Yep. I feel like you could have jumped into another connection. Yeah, you was gonna wait to tell this other person that you changed your mind. Yeah. You was gonna wait to tell this person that you changed your mind. Um but you was going to see if you was going to regret it. Um, 
you felt like this person could just leave, walk out of your life for good. You think if you told this person that they you would have hurt their feelings. You didn't really want to hurt this person's feelings, like intentionally, but you had to make a choice because you. I feel like you didn't want to go back and forth anymore. And I also feel like this situation may have not been beneficial for you anymore at this point. Like you just felt like it wasn't beneficial. Getting that somebody could be a married man with the king of swords and the hierophant. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Taurus. Some of y'all feel like y'all need to pray about this. Like y'all, y'all feel like this is kind of like a sticky situation. Maybe you need to go to church, pray about it, get some advice. Seven of Cups. You may have quite a few options. But also, I'm getting to, you think it was the best choice. You think you made the best decision. You think you made, you made the best choice. Oh, eight of Swords. You think you made the best choice to walk away from this connection because I feel like you was really thinking kind of being a little selfish. You was in your selfish season and you just felt like, you know what, right now, this is what I'm after. I, I'm, I'm trying to balance out my bag right now. I don't need nobody coming around asking me for nothing because right now this is the season that I'm in. I'm in my selfish season right now. Right now the focus is on me. Like if I'm going to have a partner, I need my partner to be just as um, motivated as I am, just doing it on the same level as me or higher. Like you wasn't really, you wasn't in the place where you wanted, you know what I'm saying, want to be with somebody that wants to, um, ask you for things, want you to pick up the tab, want you to do this all the time. Like, you just, and you weren't willing to force it neither. I feel like you're going to wait until to see if this comes back around, but right now you're living your best life. Now, it may be a little toxic, but you out here doing what you do. You just want to make sure that, you know, I feel like you just wanted to make sure that the decision that you made was a good one, was the right one. I feel like you may want it to see how this person is going to handle it after you gave them the news that you were walking away to. But I just feel like you think you made the right decision. You you feel like you made the right decision. Yeah. Even though it may have been a little sticky situation, when you look back at your past, you're just trying to make sure. I feel like I feel like you may have wanted some new energy. I feel like you still think about this person from the past. Um, but it was just too toxic. It's too much back and forth. Maybe you want to apologize to this person. You want to apologize to this person one day. But right now, you feel like the best thing for you to do is to walk away. You may feel like you ain't got nothing else to offer this, nothing else to offer this person. It's like where this person was at when you was by yourself, when you were struggling. And they ask you, did you need anything? Um, can I help you in any type of way? They went nowhere around. That's how I feel like you're taking it. Like, where was you at? Where was, you know what I'm saying? Like, where was you at? Maybe, this is nothing I'm getting too like. The challenge is maybe you feel like you took, somebody took something too far. That's the challenge. Yep, eight of cups. Somebody took something too far and you had to leave. I'm telling you, you had to leave because it had done got, went way too far. It had done went too far. So then you had no choice but to leave the relationship. You found up something better. And I see Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Like, moving forward is lots of pentacles in your future. 
But I, I still feel like you don't feel like you're going to get what you need. I'm just going to say that. You don't feel like you're going to get what you need. So you had to let that go and you had to move forward. But I want to tell, I want to speak on this as well. That I know that y'all are all about y'all image. and But I really feel like y'all close a chapter with somebody that you really cared about, that you really love, or somebody that you like. I'm going to say that. For somebody that you like. All right. So y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.